just came out. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were naked, right? No, that was me. <laughs> that you? That no. was me. You, you, yeah, that, that would be it's me. It's a common mistake to see <laughs> <laughs> my abs and chest are naked. It's actually slightly more defined. Oh, than, yeah. our, than our friend here. But you're right, yeah. You do so him a disservice. I do yeah. look fabulous naked, as you can confirm. This here, yeah. not me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let that one settle. <laughs> so, what can you tell us about this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's bloody brilliant, mate. That's about it. Yeah, you want to follow on from that? Yeah, it wets, wets the wets. It wets the appetite. It wets the appetite, yeah. absolutely. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a show set in the near distant future about a bunch of lucky passengers who are going to help colonize a new planet. Tabula rasa? Yes. A fresh, uh, fresh start, blank yeah. slate. And in the midst of this journey, uh, something terrible happens to the ship, and there's a mass evacuation where everyone essentially gets evacuated on yeah. these pods. Except for the 10 of us. Except for 10 of us, yes. And we basically have to find out why that's happened and what's going on on the ship. With many twists and turns, as we discover more. Yeah. So part of the plot synopsis said that, and I want to quote this, oh. one of the passengers is far from who they claim to be. Yeah, that's a plot twist we can't. This, this <laughs> based on the synopsis and the cast list, yeah. Tom, I did have some suspects, a suspect. Right, go on. Oh, Me? The, oh, yeah. you, why would you say that? Are you the bad guy? Look, I told you I can't, yes, you've broken me down. <laughs> no, that's the beauty, the beauty of it, is that it is a... I, up to the ninth episode, I don't think any of us actually knew yeah. who was yeah. not to be trusted and who was trusted. Yeah. Uh, you know, the beauty of it is that everyone is running from something. Um, and everyone has to trust each other. But yeah, and we have, I mean, yeah, most of us have some, some sort of trauma on Earth that we, that's a reason to leave Earth behind for a blank slate. Mm. And um, so there's, yeah, none of us want to tell the others what it was that we left behind. Exactly. And um, yeah, so we're all feeling each other out as we're um, as we're going. Who knows who's lying, who's telling the truth, and how much of their previous life are they trying to hide? Equally, with there only being ten of us, we are heavily reliant on each other to try to yeah figure out a solution. But I mean, how much can you rely on people that uh, you know they they got the same deal as you, so they're probably running from something as well. Which right. I mean, if you can't, yeah, you don't really trust yourself. So how can you really trust any of the others? Um, and then it becomes a guessing game. Who's yeah. telling the truth? So the, the audience actually, because each each episode is set with the um, half of the episode is set in flashback, and we learn about the reasons why the individuals decide to or take up the offer of a blank slate. And um, so the audience actually learns about each character before the characters learn about themselves, yeah. Yeah, each other. Yeah. What's it like transitioning from the big screen to YouTube? And do you have any favorite YouTube channels? You know what? I was just had this discussion with one of the. The suits uh, from YouTube outside about. I still feel like in the. Talking about suits. No, no, not the program. The. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought. Don't yeah. stop promoting yeah, other stuff. On, yeah. hey, okay. Origin, okay? We're here to promote Origin. <coughs> yeah. uh, I'm still a slightly old school YouTuber where I just use it to look at music videos and how to do stuff. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really into. My niece is big into the whole subscribing to various different. I don't know what it is, blogs? I, 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 I sound like an old man, don't I? Blogs, yeah. I'm a proper grandpa over here. <laughs> I, yeah, he opened his laptop to show me something the other day and it was like how to clean your teeth properly. Yeah, well, you know, this you know, is the thing. YouTube's own. very handy. Yeah. Do you guys know about YouTube challenges and like internet challenges? Stomach down. So like there's this challenge right now called In My Feelings where you like have to do a dance. In My Feelings? No, I get yeah. you're, you're making me sound yeah, even further from like, like this. It's a feelings dance? Yeah, in my feelings. Okay, you all right. You well. That's not bad? Yeah. 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 Top of the, is it hot? Now you can say that you've done a YouTube channel. Well, I might start now. Maybe this will be my first leap as a company man. I shall leap more into the further wonders of YouTube. Thank you for the instructional. Thank you. I'm not subscribed. In my feelings? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's check it out. Yeah. Um, lastly, Tom, I wanted to ask you about Go for it, mate. Um, being able to work with uh, Natalia again. Yes. Um, what's, what's that like? Well, I don't remember if you shared any scenes. We actually just clocked that outside. We never yeah. never yeah. saw yeah. each other at the studios ever. Oh, wow. I don't think, because obviously Hogwarts was separate from, from where she was doing most of her, uh, <coughs> most of her acting. Um, but we hung out a lot at things like this, where we started to take the piss out of each other, much like Sam and I are. Now, so we bonded, we bonded a lot through that, uh, and I didn't actually know that Matt was doing it until I landed in 
South Africa. We had no idea what the other cast were, so I just got a text from her saying, "Hey, we're on board. Crazy. We're on board together." So, so it was very nice to have a familiar face. Um, I really loved, like, Let it hang. It's my, it's my favorite bit is when there's like six or seven seconds of silence after but the question. Where is the majority of the filming done? Uh, um, like, ac actually? Or yeah, or South Africa? Yeah, South we're Africa? in South Africa. Oh, okay. Cape Town. Okay. That's what we've yeah. done for the last sort of five and a half months. Have you been? Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. isn't it? It's Colorful. amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, I mean, we were in a spaceship the entire time, or yes. pretty much the entire time, <laughs> yeah. so it's sort of laughing at you, you know. So, yeah. There's this amazing place all yeah. around, and we're in a duck studio. Oh, yeah, you yeah. go indoors, yeah. and the place is like pitch black, yeah. with all these, like, warning lights and hazards, yeah. spaceship warning, you know. And so, you yeah, go it's outside, <laughs> it's what, it's like yeah. blistering. Yeah. So it's always, like, a lot of green trees. Like oh, really? Much, yeah. Very yeah, little, I'd sets say. sets amazing. Awful. <laughs> sets, yeah. All, you know, sets were always. I've worked on a lot of things where you know the walls come out of certain sets. These are all very sort of fixed. Um, yeah. and allow the cameras to sort of go wherever they want to. And, and yeah, so that was nice. Not that much green screen on this one. Yeah. Uh, favorite bit. It's my favorite bit, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, he, he was leading at me earlier, trying to like, okay, I guess. The best. I know it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Like I just know I'd be, I'd be terrible. I think it's a really hard job. Yeah. Bravo. Can you talk a little bit about what attracted each of you to this series? Oh, I think to say to each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, originally it was just looks. <laughs> um, I was, it was the script originally, and I had a lovely chat with Mika, our, our fearless writer and uh, showrunner. She knows the show inside and out. And was, 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 uh, well, pitched it beautifully, really. Um, yeah. And we have been lucky. I feel like with the cast that we've got to work with, we've all had a pretty, other than you and I, struggling at yeah. first. But everyone else has been a really good, yeah. uh, good, good, good fun to work Yeah, with. I saw right eye with everyone else, really. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not bring it up now. Like Let's not bring it up now, okay? Yeah. We had a great time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What did you think of the panel? I thought it really went really well. I think because you're all sitting together, it just feels like um, it doesn't feel scary. Cause it feels like you're a team. It was a great spirit on set. You know, the the cast and the crew, everyone really bonded, and I think you can see that when everyone was kind of sitting up on the panel. I mean, it was really everyone has a really good vibe. I mean, it, you know, it's it's always you know making stuff has its problems, and sometimes it's really tense. But on the whole, it was like a fabulous experience making the TV show. And I think everyone really, you know, they really genuinely like one another. Mm. Despite the fact we're all trying to kill one another on the <laughs> spaceship. Yeah. So the first trailer just came out. Um, can you just tell us one reason why everyone needs to tune in and watch? Yeah. Well, it's hard to say just why. I think it's really bloody different. I mean, that's what I would say. There are some surface elements that you might go, oh, it's a little like this, it's a little like that. It honestly, you know, this this mesh of like, this fabulous um, environment that they're trapped on, this spaceship that, if it isn't quite malevolent, it's certainly not very friendly towards them. The mystery that they have to unravel as to what happened to the rest of the crew and the rest of the passengers. And that combined with really excellent character stories there, you see a different character each episode. Um, in a different environment back on Earth. I mean, it's really, it's incredibly, it's incredibly rich. Mm, I also just think the cast, because it's like, where else do you see this many nationalities and this many, like, such different, diverse casting where and they're all going to, you know, a lot of them speak in their own sort of native languages as well. I just think that would be, if I had to say one thing, I think that, that would be it. Um, when I read the synopsis for this show, I, part of it was read like a sci-fi series, part of it read like a sort of like a survival. Which would you classify it as? Survival. <laughs> yeah, it's quite hard to say because it's very, you know, there's all the sci-fi horror, but there's also the Lord of the Flies element, and we sort of oscillate between the two. I think like they're both um, so present in all the episodes. Lord of the Flies, I like that. Mm. Yeah. What's it been like making a show for you two, Brad? So the experience has been excellent. You know, it was one of the things I was excited about, you know, doing the show because of YouTube. You know, it's how my kids interact with media nowadays is always through YouTube. 
and um, and the team that they have assembled I mean they're really excellent people they were incredibly supportive um, they've been great great partners you know they gave us enough money to do what we needed um, they gave us enough rope to hang ourselves unfortunately we didn't I don't think we did um, you know they've been they've been amazing I mean I can't say enough good things about them and it's not always that way um, sorry, but is it different to think a show for a platform like YouTube than, for example, for um, normal for normal television or air channel? Do you think? Like well, with her mouth, I don't think so. <laughs> As you probably, I mean, if you saw the if you saw the ten minute clip, the amount of times we had to drop out the sound because someone was saying something a little spicy. Because we all know how delicate the Comic Con audience is, right? You know, you're all delicate flowers. Um, I, and there's a level of intensity mm. that I just don't think was suitable to standard broadcast television. Yeah, no, absolutely not. I think there's like it's got a heightened energy, and it's um, it feels like something you want to binge as well. Um, so I think it's perfectly suited to, to YouTube. What's it like working on a show where it's yeah, the majority of it is set in space, and but you're also going into a, um, on a set right now? Well, I mean, I I've done projects like that because this that this show is not that project because 50% of it is set in other locations. We always flash back to Earth, so the first episode 50% is set in futuristic Tokyo. Second episode 50% is set in Washington D.C. Uh, primarily in a house that's in the suburbs, so very different locations. So, from a filming point of view, you get to break out of that kind of monotonous being on a set which I think sometimes that can be good because it's very claustrophobic, you can get cabin fever. You know, that's when we were shooting Event Horizon was very much, people, people were pretty tightly wound by the end of that movie. Um, what was nice about this show is you get the kind of tight wound aspect of a stage-based show, but then you alternate it with exciting locations as well. So from a filmmaking point of view, it was very, very challenging, very exciting. And you mentioned it's uh, set in touristic uh, Tokyo, I believe you said. Um, what, what can you tell us about, about the stuff that's taking place off the station? Uh, um, I mean, you get to, because our characters are from so many different places on Earth, you get pretty much a snapshot of the world of the future. You know, most, think about most movies, for example, like Blade Runner, you know, you get to good idea of what they think LA is going to look like but that's it you're stuck in LA for the whole two movies right whereas you know this it was a lot of fun you know because you're having it was a lot of pressure as well because you're having to create Tokyo but that's only for one episode you have to create something else and you have to create something else so um, you know I think it's going to be very rewarding for an audience um, and it was very challenging for us as filmmakers which did you find more challenging, the, the, the working on the spaceship sort of that area or the, or the flashback? Like is, it, is there a difference for you? Probably the, it would be the flashbacks from your perspective, right? Because it was like building that world in a short amount of time compared to the spaceship is built and then it's across the ten episodes. That's Yes, but... but um you know, the spaceship in and of itself was quite challenging because it's so big. The sets were built as practical sets. You know, um, somebody asked a question that um, when we were doing the panel about it looked like, you know, there, there wasn't a huge amount of CG that you did a lot of practical in camera. We did. But that meant that if we wanted, like, the control room set, for example, is vast, there's no CG enhancement of that. That was a real practical, it's a massive set. It's all practically lit. When you see space through these huge big windows at the front, we actually had a projection screen of space, which means we had to design space, we had to project it. And we did that because you see the reflections of space in all of these reflective surfaces inside. So if we'd had a green screen out there, it would have been a nightmare. You know, Every single shot would have had green spill in it. So it was actually, in order to build the whole thing, was was quite a technical challenge. Before you go, click to the right to check out even more of what's happening here at Comic-Con. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to all of our channels.